Fix this camera here. There we go. Okay, this part of the thread is called um, substitution and fatigue, and that's why we're in a play now. That's why I'm in a play now. Is I need to simulate fatigue and get substitutions. Going with the Saints here because they've got a nice two back set. And the thing about substitutions is. If you've got a good two back set, or even, or even if you've got a, a one back set, you want to preserve as much as you can the energy of your main number one back. Okay, and we're not going to be doing too much replaying here, uh, but like just say on that tackle, you know, you you run three four times, he starts getting in the yellow, and once he starts getting in the yellow, he starts getting tired. If he gets in the red, injuries, fumbles might occur. Um, so. You want to spell halfback probably every two or three runs that you do with your main guy. A team like the Saints, they have the they have the luxury of of you know running Deuce McAllister twice and then running Reggie Bush twice. If you you know have that strategy in mind, or running McAllister once and then Reggie once, McAllister once, or doing situational McAllister on power power. Uh, yards and and bush on on long yards for his speed but you know it's just really what you want to do with it you form your own strategy and this is you know second and four I'll keep deuce in there and the object is on substitutions and fatigue is to substitute it at, 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 at a point where um, fatigue doesn't set in You know, if, if, if fatigue can't set in, then, you know, you, you'll always be in the green and you'll always have the advantage. Get in a power situation here. And then also, if your guys are always in the green, then sooner or later, you might get it to where their guys are getting tired and because they stay on the field. We'll go for it. No big deal. Should have went for it here. I need to get to the outside, so I'll spell half back here. But yeah, and like I say, their defense consistently stays on the field, uh, and it's the same players all the time. Whereas, oh come on, Bush, get up. Whereas with your offensive guys, you know, they're, they're being rested. They're being rested. Every other play, they're being rested. Every other play, they're being rested. And and that can be at an extreme advantage, you know, because sooner or later, you know, one of their weapons might be off the field. And if that's the case, if one of their weapons gets off the field, then that's, that's incredibly good for, for the offense. Simply because you know it's 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 their secondary player and not their starter. Okay, no substitutions yet for the defense. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. But this thread won't take long. This part, this part of the thread won't take long. It's pretty, it's pretty simple. Just keep uh, and you know what? I'll even, I don't need to do it now because I haven't. They, they they've rested after penalties. They get their rest. Didn't overrun my blocks. I stayed right behind him. Sporadically pressing turbo. And let's just get Stecker in here because that was a good, you know, a big run. Wow, 
Wow, they were in a nice blitz. There's Reggie. On long yards, you know, you want to just put in your speed back. And I'll put in Reggie again on here. I'll put him in on this play. Just in case I have to scamper to the outside. They are in the zone. Okay, I'll just go for it again. Fourth and two. I'm going to need to scamper out. So hopefully I can get to the outside on this one. Ah, they're blitzing something serious. Okay. And, and, just keep, and, and the point about this whole thread is, you know, just... Keep shoving it down their throat. Keep throwing different running backs at them. And sooner or later, they're going to get tired. I mean, sooner or later, they will get tired. And when they do, that's when you... Oh, I was trying to follow the fullback. That's when you capitalize on them and you just... You catch them slipping. You catch them slipping. Once it, once they start getting fatigued and getting tired, you know third fourth quarter run and they're gonna they're gonna start slow down they're in a man not bad let's check that again it's the only play I'm really replaying because it was only it's only worthy play to replay. Everything else has been, you know, what we've already been discussing. I wanted to hit that middle gap, uh, but I saw him slip. Right here, I cut back in. That's when I cut back in. I wanted to hurdle that. I couldn't hit the outside. He was about to get off that. So I just cut back in and got a nice, got a nice hole. That hole was there, and the only reason why I didn't hit it at first was because I saw him come off that block. The only reason why I didn't get out to the outside is because he was coming. And then once I saw him started moving, I was like, yeah, let's cut back to the inside. So cut back to the inside, kick it back outside, and then hopefully get some good yards at the end. And then, of course, we're down here. Down here and get uh, Deuce back in the game. Flip the play one time. Hold the ball and score a touchdown. Alright. Substitutions and fatigue. No, none of my guys got tired. Uh, no one got tired. We kept fresh guys in there the whole time. It allows us to break more tackles, not fumble. Reggie got popped. He got a little stinger, but that's already got back in the game. And uh, that's, what, that's what you want to try to train yourself to do. Not always run your number one back all the time. Uh, simply because you don't want him to get tired fast. You don't want him to really get tired at all. And, you know, you just want to keep him in the green as much as possible.